Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna replace the hard drive for an SSD in this Lenovo IdeaPad. And the specific model I'm looking at here is the IdeaPad S145-15IWL. Now this computer is not in the greatest shape and does not have the greatest specs. So uh, this is rocking a Pentium 5405U. Uh, we have four gigs of RAM, and that traditional spinning hard drive, which is 500 gigs. Now, um, that is one of the big bottlenecks of this system, as well as the memory. Uh, but in today's video, we're just gonna replace the hard drive for an SSD, and I did choose uh, this one here. Uh, so this was only about $10, $12, I believe, when I got this uh, a little while ago. So let's go ahead and crack this open and replace that hard drive. All right, and now with the laptop flipped over, we can go ahead and start removing screws. There are two already removed, not sure if someone's been in here before or not, but we are also missing uh, the rubber for the feet back here. Uh, we do have 10 total screws that you'll need to remove, and these are all Phillips head. Now, once you remove the screws, you do need to unclip the bottom from the case. So you just wanna look for a spot where you can actually get a tool in here, uh, or you can use picks like this. Um, and then once you are able to find a spot, you just want to kind of go around and kind of twist to get those to pop out. Okay, looks like right here we can start working on it. All right, and now we're in. Now I did find a little loose part here as well as here. So one of these has broken already before I got here. So this is fairly upgradable. We have our hard drive here. That's what I'm gonna replace. We have our battery. You have our RAM, only one slot looks like. And then we have an M.2 slot right here. So you could actually put um, another hard drive here if you wanted to. So you could have, actually have two if you wanted. Um, this does again have four gigs. We've got the 500 gig spinning hard drive and then you have our CPU right here. And then we'll go ahead and replace this drive. Now it looks like for our main hard drive, we have two screws holding it in, and then that is our uh, SATA port here. I don't see any other screws, so we'll go ahead and unscrew those, see if it comes out. Ah, there are two more. So we have the two down here by the battery. I thought those might be for the battery, but it looks like they are holding in the bracket for the hard drive itself. And then we should be able to lift the drive out. Let's see. Ah, there we go. And it looks like our bracket, we have two screws on this side and we have one screw on this side for some reason. Not sure if one came out uh, but we did have some loose screws in here, so I would not be surprised. So we'll go ahead and unscrew the drive and put our SSD inside. Okay, and then uh, just make sure that it's placed the same way, and then we'll go ahead and put those screws back in to the bracket. And it looks like we actually did have the loose screw from the back here for some reason. <laughs> I don't know how that came out. There we go. All right, and then we'll go ahead and place it back in. So we want to get this underneath these two brackets for the battery, so get it underneath. And then you just wanna kind of wiggle it so that it actually slides into this SATA slot. It has gone into the side slot and that you have the hole showing where you can re-screw it in so it's connected properly. So we'll go ahead and uh, put the screws back in here for the back of the bracket. All right, so we're all done. We have the uh, new SSD. We have reapplied new thermal paste for uh, the CPU. And if you wanted to make any other changes, again, you can add more RAM to this 
and you also have an M.2 slot uh, if you wanted to use one of those. Now an M.2 hard uh, SSD would be probably faster than the 2.5 inch version that I put in here, but um, I just had what I had, so you can do either one. All right, and now we'll go ahead and clip this back in and start putting our screws back in. And again, this one had some issues, so two screws missing here, and for some reason, the fourth screw I tried to put in no longer works, but again, that could be because of, you know, one of these broken pieces that were already there. All right, so we're now gonna go ahead and reinstall Windows on this new drive. Now, of course, uh, whether you're cloning or reinstalling, we should be able to just boot into uh, the USB here, so I'm gonna press the F12 key for that boot menu, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. And then we're gonna hit F12 when it boots up here. Okay, and then we have our USB, gonna go to that. Okay, we're now in setup, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through this, and then I will uh, show you how fast it is after setup. Now, yes, I did install Windows 10 and an older version at that, but as you can see in performance, our task manager, you can see our CPU is doing pretty good. Uh, memory is still kind of high for, it's only four gigs, but our disk usage is a lot lower, so that SSD definitely made a difference. You can also tell with startup, and of course going to different applications. So say we open up Edge, open up our file folder, Microsoft Store, any of those things, you can see everything opens up pretty nice and quick. So there you guys have it. Um, so if you're trying to change out the hard drive on one of these, pretty simple. And you can also add some RAM or you can put in an M.2 drive for this laptop. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.